Hi guys, it's me, Jackson. Are you tired of downloading stuff off of Maker World or Thingiverse to print in your printer? Oh, yes. And are you ready to start designing custom stuff on your own? Yes! Well, in this video, we're going to show you how to design your very own custom dog tags. So first, you're going to go into Canva, click Elements on the side, and then search up for own outline. And then click see all. And then you click this one right here. You're gonna make it big. And then you're gonna click share, download. You're gonna click download. Mm. And then you're gonna go to the SVG converter. And then you're gonna scroll down, click drop your image here. And then click this one, and then click enter. And then you're going to make sure it looks good, and then you're going to click download SVG. Then you're going to go into Tinkercad, click import, choose file, click the top one, click open. Make sure to click art, and then you're going to make it full. And then click import. Then once it imports, you're gonna go back to Canva, delete the um bone, gonna click text, add a text box, and then now you're gonna in here you're gonna put your dog's name. Ours is Shixie, so I'm just gonna put that. Then you're gonna click on it, click this and then you're in search up look and then click the luckiest guy and make it bigger then you're gonna click share download download once it downloads you're gonna go back to the SVG converter click the X scroll down click the drop your image here and open it up should be the top one Click it and then click open. And then make sure it looks good. And you're going to click download SVG. Then you're going to go back to Tinkercad. Click import. Click to the file. And then click the top one. And then click open. And then next, you're going to click art. And then we're going to make the width. There. And then click import. And that, once it imports, you're going to click the bone, and then make it 0.11. And then you're going to click on the dog, your dog's name, make it 0.225 big. Then make the um, fill mode default, and then make the quality mats, which is 24. Then you're going to select it, and then on your keyboard, you're going to click Control C and Control V. You're going to wait a little bit, and then it should make a copy of it. In this one, you're going to make it 0.18. And then you're going to make the fill mode a silhouette, and then you're going to hit Control C on your keyboard, and then Control V. And then you're going to make the height 0.18, which it should be. And then make the fill mode outer line, and then make the line width 0 0.05. Click Control C, Control V. In this one, you're going to make the height 0 0.11. Then you're going to make the make sure it's outer line, and then make the line width 0 0.1. Click Enter. Then you're going to select all of the texts. And then you're going to click this button right here, and it should be Align. And then click this one in the middle right there. You're also going to click this one. And then you're also going to click that one right there. Then once you have it, select all of them. And then you're going to click this button, which is going to group them, and then make them all one. And then you're going to select the um, both of the objects. Click the align button again, click 
<clears throat> like that one, that button at the bottom, in the middle, and then click this one on the side in the middle. And then once they're aligned, you're going to select all of them, click through, and then once you do that, you're going to add a um, sphere, then make the sides the highest, and then you're going to bring in another sphere and make the sides the, the most. Then you're going to make both of these point tall, make this one. Point one one tall, and then you're gonna make this one the one that's not a hole. Point three, high point three, then you're gonna make this one that is a hole. Point one five, high point one five, and then you're gonna select both of them. Click the align button. You're gonna click this bottom middle and then the side middle. And then select all of them again. And then click this button here, which groups them. And then you're gonna put it at the top right here, right? And then once you do that, you're gonna select both of those objects. You're gonna click the group. But once the red line goes away, you're gonna click export STL. Then you're going to open up your slicer. I use Bama Studio. So once you're in Bama Studio, you're going to click Create New Project. And then after that, you're going to click Add. And then you're going to click this top one. Click it. Next, you're going to click Open. And then you're going to look at it, make sure it looks good. And then once you think it looks good, you're going to click this button that says Color Painting. And then you're going to make sure you're in height range. And then the height range is the max, which is 8. And then once you did that, you're going to make sure you're on the shortcut P2. And then you're going to click right above that first layer. Change the shortcut 3. And then next you're going to um, click right above um, the layer 2. And then you're going to click return. Make sure it looks good. And then once you make sure it looks good. Right now you can change the colors if you want. And then you're gonna click slice plate, print, send, and then we'll show you what it looks like when it's done. And here it is when it's done. I think it turned out pretty good. And you can also, if you wanted to use smaller text, I suggest use a point to nozzle. And you could also customize it by putting your, your name, your address or phone number. Please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. by Jack Snow. Everybody listen up, give us your attention. It's Jack.